Google launches Gemini, its most advanced AI model yet, as it races to compete with ChatGPT. In a bid to rival OpenAI's ChatGPT and advance in the AI landscape, Google has introduced its cutting-edge AI model named Gemini. This ambitious endeavor aims to revolutionize the field of generative artificial intelligence. Gemini is set to power up various Google consumer applications and enhance the capabilities of Android smartphones. Describing Gemini as its largest and most capable AI model, Google's announcement outlines a vision for a new Gemini era. The tech giant envisions integrating this model across diverse settings, from major corporations to everyday devices like the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Setting itself apart from existing AI models, Gemini is designed to be multimodal, accepting inputs that encompass various media types, such as text, images, audio, video, and programming code, Google revealed. Sundar Pichai, CEO of Google, emphasize the significance of this milestone, stating, this new era of models represents one of the biggest science and engineering efforts we've undertaken as a company. Google has already upgraded its AI chatbot, Bard, with a version of the Gemini model, with plans to integrate Gemini into widely used products like the Google search engine and Chrome web browser. Used by billions globally, this launch signifies Google's response following the unexpected popularity of OpenAI's ChatGPT a year ago propelling the industry into a frenzy to accelerate generative AI tools while sparking global discussions on AI's risks and rewards. It also represents an effort to push generative AI out to the farthest reaches of Google's empire. The company said Gemini 1.0 comes in three different sizes. Nano, which is optimized for mobile devices and app developers. Pro, which is the default model designed for a wide range of tasks and customers. And Ultra, the most sophisticated AI model Google said it has ever built and that is still undergoing safety testing. Wednesday's launch was also designed to showcase Google's advances in cloud computing, a critical resource for AI developers. The company said it trains Gemini using a new generation of powerful cloud-based processors that can collectively train large AI models nearly three times faster than the prior version. That technology, which will also be made available to Google's cloud customers, could mean a significant boost to the wider AI industry, making AI training more accessible and bolstering Google's third-place position in the market for public cloud services. But it is unclear how Google's AI chips stack up against those of leading chip makers such as NVIDIA. In its testing, Google's Gemini model outperformed rival AI models across more than two dozen benchmarks commonly used by AI researchers to evaluate an algorithm's reading comprehension, mathematical ability, and multi-step reasoning skills, the company said. We do see it setting new kinds of frontiers across the board. Eli Collins, vice president of product at Google DeepMind, told reporters on a conference call Tuesday. But he appeared to acknowledge the continued risk of AI models feeding users misleading results, alluding to concerns by civil society groups, policymakers, and AI researchers. Google has done a lot of work on improving factuality in Gemini, Collins said, but large language models are still capable of hallucinating, a term AI researchers use when AI systems make up facts and get stuff wrong, but with extreme confidence. When we integrate these models into products like BARD, we have additional techniques to improve the accuracy of responses, he added. In recognition of those risks, Google said Wednesday that Gemini Ultra, its most advanced version of the model, will only be released gradually to select customers, developers, partners, and safety and responsibility experts for early experimentation and feedback before rolling it out to developers and enterprise customers early next year. Gemini Ultra is currently undergoing third-party safety evaluations, also known as red teaming, in accordance with a commitment it made to the Biden administration earlier this summer. Thank you.